Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 489. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College Upset link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 484 to 489. Hey, we have a wild array formula here that is going to take a string like this and extract all the numbers. So amongst all these characters, any of the ASCII characters, we have 5 billion whatever this number is here. We need to extract it. Now, I didn't know how to do this, so what did I do? I posted a question at the Mr. Excel message board, and Dominique and uh, Rod Cotter uh, gave me amazing solutions. Uh, and their formulas are there, and there's the link. Now, what are we going to have to do? There's a bunch of steps. This is a big array formula. In essence, we're going to have to somehow extract all the individual characters so we can analyze them. Then say, hey, are they numbers? We'll get a true, false, true, etc. Uh, and then we're going to multiply those trues and falses times the position. So this will be in uh, position 1, 3, etc. And from those positions, we're going to have to then reconstruct by multiplying to get this big number here. Now let's take it one step at a time. There's a bunch of parts to this. The first thing is how do we extract all the individual characters? Now we've done this uh, extract trick a few times. But the first part is how do we get the, a string of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, however many characters there are. Right down here it may be 1 to 14. Here it's 1 to 16. We're going to use row, which will tell us which row, and then indirect indirect and then inside of it we will use in quotes double quotes one colon and double quote ampersand and then we need to know the length this is the variable part of it that will give us 1 to 16 1 to 14 length just counts how many characters there are close parentheses close parentheses close parentheses now 1 to 16 this is the variable part down here it's 1 to 14 Indirect takes the text, converts it to a reference, and then a row says how many rows. Uh, there are from 1 to 16. Now, if I highlight this and hit my F9 key, you can see oh, that's what it does. It gives me an array of 1 to 16. Now, what are we going to use that for? Because we have 16 characters to individually extract. I'm going to Control Z. So where do we use that? We use the mid function to is extract characters from a text string. Uh, the text is this, comma, and that's what makes this an array right here because it's it's extracting the starting position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 16. So it'll extract 16 individual little text strings. And then comma, how many characters? Well, at each starting point, we want to only take one. Close parentheses. All right, so I hit uh, the F9 key, and you can see, ah, it did extract all the individual characters. Now, number, no number, number, no number, etc. Control Z. I'm just going to put a double negative. That's like saying uh, double negative of 5 is minus 5 and then back to 5. So double negative when it hits one of those letters will just go eh, error. So I'm going to hit F9. We've established number, error, number, error. Control Z. Now around this I can say is number. Is number just says whether something is or a, num a number or not. So now this part We'll take it and return a string, I'll hit F9, uh, an array of trues and falses. Control, and so true, false, etc. for the numbers. Control Z. Now, what are we going to do next? We need to next get the position. 1, I think 3 is 15. So we can take this. And actually, we're going to use this a bunch of more times. This is our string of 1 to 16 or 1 to 14 when it gets down here. So I'm going to copy this. We're going to have to use this a bunch of times. Well, what's true, false, true, false, etc. A string of trues and falses 16 long times the 1 to 16. If we highlight this in F9, you can see, ah, what a clever way to get the position. The first number is in the first position. The uh, second number is in the third position. We need to sort these. I'm going to control Z. And how are we going to get those in a particular order? I'm going to use the large function. The large function can take an array. Remember, those are positions. And 
comma, the k says enlarge, give me the tenth largest, the second largest. Well, we're gonna, we want all of them, right? So I'm going to control V, that's our 1 to 16. Close parentheses. So this, in essence, is a way to sort within our formula. I hit the F9. Now we have our position. The 3 is in the 15th position. The 2 is in the 14th. Now these zeros right here, we're ultimately going to use this inside of mid. And the mid function can extract characters. But if you say, hey, mid, go to the zero, zero position, the zero character, it can't do that. So I'm going to control Z. We have to convert that zero to a one. So watch this. I'm going to plus one. I'm going to highlight this and F9. You can see now I get 16 to one. Now the mid can deal with all of those. There's two problems. One is we have one too many characters now because that three is really um, 15, not 16. And what would happen if we told the mid to take the first character? It would take it that many times. 5, 5, so it would be extracting too many 5's. Control Z. No problem, we'll deal with both of those problems. We're going to use the mid. The mid needs some text. The text could be just this, but watch this. Remember, the 1 is going to extract too many 5's, and there aren't enough characters. There's uh, only 16 instead of 17, so we're going to add an extra character. 0, ampersand, and this. What the 0, and then a comma. What the 0 and the ampersand does is now there's 17 characters, um, which when we tell it the 16th character, that 3 will be extracted. Now there's 17, right? And remember all the 1's? If I go like this, all of the 1's. Well, now mid will extract them all, but it will only be extracting a zero because the extra character we added is in the first position and it is a zero and it will not mess up uh, the the later calculation. Control Z. Let's move this out of the way. All right, so now we have our text, our starting position, all of those uh, positions up there. Now I'm going to have to scroll over here a little bit and type a comma. All right, so now I'm down here. Now, what is the number of characters? Hey, one each time. So close parentheses. Let's go ahead and highlight this in F9. And guess what? There they are. Finally, we've extracted all of the numbers. The 3, the 2, the 9, the 0, the 9, exactly in order. Now, it's backwards, but that is OK. Control Z. Because what, oh no, I want to F9 because look, 3, what if we were to multiply 1 times 3, that would give us the 3 position. What if we were to multiply 2 times 10, that would give us the 10 position. Well, 2 times 10 is 20, right? So 20 plus 3 would give us 23. What about 9? 9 times 100 is 900. And if we added it, 3 plus 20 plus 900 is 923, which is exactly the, and the, the logic extends all the way out to this position. That's in the billionth position. So if we multiply it a billion times 5, it gives 5 billion. No way. Control Z. Ta that array of values, we have to multiply times something that will give us uh, a 1, a 10 in an array, a 1, a 10, 100, et cetera. We're going to multiply it by 10 raised to the power, that's caret shift 6. And what is it we want? The same 16 digits that we've been using this whole time. So control uh, V. Now watch this, F9. Right now, though, 1 raised to the, I'm sorry, 10 raised to the first power is 10. 10 raised to the second power is 100. 10 to the 16, it's all exactly one digit off. Control Z. Well, what happens if we subtract 1? Now, if I highlight the inside of this and hit F9, now we got our 0. What's 10 ra any number raised to the 0 is what? 1. Uh, 10 raised to the w 1 power is 10. 10 raised to the second power is 100. So there's our array. It'll come out 1, 10, 100, which is exactly what we need to multiply by what the mid is spitting out, in essence. Control Z, so I could highlight this, F9. You see, there it is, 1, 10, 100. Oh, that is so amazing. Dominique and uh, 
Rod Cotter. Oh, my heavens. Control Z. Now, if we do this whole thing here and hit F9, we have our 3, our 20, our 900, our 9,000, all the way out to our 5 billion. What do we have to do now? Add. Control Z. Put the close parentheses over there. S U M open parentheses. And there it is. Uh, control Shift Enter. This is an array format, so you hold Control Shift and Enter. Double click and send it down. And I had this, some of these are randomized, and so if I hit F9, you can see that sure enough, that formula totally updates. Now, uh, this is there you have it um, hanging out at the Mr. Excel message boards. Totally cool, totally amazing formula there. We'll see you next trick.